What's up, everybody? It's Jay here from the Fantasy Effect team. Um, it's, we just finished up week two, yes, last night, and we've had, seen a lot of good football. There's a lot of, uh, we're starting to see some trends going on in the NFL right now, right? And uh, um, there's a couple guys here that I wanted to talk about. Uh, two of them are, I think, are being, uh, based on their usage, I think, are in for a bigger fantasy production days. Uh, and two of them are who I think have, have done well, uh, fantasy points for game wise, but I think are kind of fool's gold. So let's jump right into it. The first guy I want to talk about is George Pickens. Um, I think he is a dynasty buy right now. Uh, he's getting 40, he's gotten 40% of his team's receiving yards, 32% uh, first read on all their offensive plays and over 50% of their air yards for their team. He also has a, a nice 2.78 yards per route run. Uh, really, we look for anything over two is, is really good. And so he's almost a three, which is awesome. Uh, the, the killer here is no touchdowns yet, uh, but I do think they're coming. I know he had a couple big plays that got called back or just some near misses with him and Justin Fields. I think, I think he's in for a big day here soon. Um, right now I'm comfortable buying for a playoff first if I can get him for that. Even probably going to need to throw him in a second, and if it's um, if you feel like he's the missing piece, I think I I can throw in a, a first and a second, assuming I'm a I'm a playoff team. Next guy I want to talk about here is Amari Cooper. Uh, I know he's been he's been awful, uh, but it, I think that the numbers are, are a little misleading here. So first, ninety three percent route participation. Uh, he's been the first read on the offense twenty five percent of the time, so one out of every four plays. He's, they're looking to go his way. Uh, 43% of the team's air yards, which is huge. Now, here's the kicker, right? Only 7% of the team's total yards. So he, him and Deshaun Watson are just totally out of sync. I think this is one of those things where it can it's either going to get fixed or it's going to get fixed if Deshaun Watson gets benched, James Winston comes in. Um, so I think better days are in store for Mike Cooper. It's been a brutal start. Uh, chances are the, the, fan, the dynasty managers are, are – <laughs> just fed up with it right now. Um, there's a decent chance you, they might be willing to move off of them. Um, I'd be willing to pay up to a playoff second and playoff third um, to try to acquire Mark Cooper on my team and hoping that he bounces back. Now let's let's flip the script here and talk about some guys who have gotten some better um, better fantasy production, but maybe it might be fool's gold, right? So Rashid Shahid, that's the first guy I want to talk about. Uh, he's only running routes on uh, 80% of the team's passing snaps. Uh, he's hit two huge deep balls in the first two games, so he just really propped up his stats. So his, his stat light is seven receptions, 169 yards, and two touchdowns. Uh, 129 of those yards came on two catches. Uh, so that, that leaves you know five catches for 40 yards across his two games. Um, here's the here's the thing right like you can't take away the deep ball right that's the thing that like he he is realistically going to hit but he's if he doesn't hit that he's he's useless in your lineup right so um i've i was kind of perusing dynasty daddy here for some different trades i've seen a, a number of him going for a 25 second 20 or a 26 second uh for me if i can get out of of shaheed for any kind of second whether it's 25 or 26 early mid late whatever uh, i'm taking that deal and finally, the last guy I want to talk about here is Stephon Diggs. So Nico Collins is pretty clearly the wide receiver one in this offense. Uh, Diggs has been getting a lot. His usage has been similar to Tank Tell, but he got propped up by two touchdowns and didn't doubt hasn't scored yet. Uh, so just to give a little bit of context on the Texans receiving core, right? Um, Nico Collins has gotten 25% of the team targets uh, versus 17% for Diggs and 16% for Tank Dell. Uh, Nico has gotten 46% of the team's air yards. Tank Dell is actually next there with 30%. And Stephon Diggs is down at 12% of the team area. So the way they're using him is a little bit more underneath, not as, not as kind of a, the, the big splashy plays that's going with Nico Collins and Tink Dell. So I think um, realistically, Stephon Diggs is, is getting, um, he's going to be touchdown dependent about whether or not you, you're going to feel good about him in your lineup. I know he's a little bit older, so it's a little bit harder to move him. Um, but hopefully, you know, if he has another touchdown game here in week three, you might be able to, to move off him. Um, I would I would try to get uh, a, a two plus uh, for him. So that's one idea that I kind of had here was a 25 second and maybe like a Khalil Shakir or someone or like a lesser wide receiver who's going to put up decent um, production, but not as maybe not as, as big of a name as Stephon Diggs is. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you if you're able to move any of these guys, let me know what, what your deals are. Throw them down in the comments and be sure to listen to our show on Wednesdays. Thank you so much.